How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul Seacola. It was one of the most highly anticipated home games for the Arizona Wildcat men's basketball team in years. Number three, UCLA against seventh ranked Arizona. Remember, it was just last week that the Bruins beat Arizona at Pauley Pavilion. So tonight, revenge was on the minds of the Wildcats. And how about this? Gotta love it when students at the U of A are taking advantage of some studying before the game, court level. A must be pre-med. And speaking of studying, perhaps UCLA didn't study enough about Arizona's explosiveness because Kirk Kariza is out to please you. Oh yeah, after that, how about Azulis Tubelis with the give and go? Don't you know? Arizona's now up 13 to 10, bro. That's the diehard Wildcat Dave dance. And after that, Ben Matherin with the floater and the foul. The Wildcats will go on a big run, son. And check this out. Kreisa is going to hit Tubelis, and the Wildcats will lead by 14 points against mighty UCLA. And Zona would not let up on the gas. Check out Dalen Terry pushing it up to Asulis Tubelis. Ooh, dog it. The Wildcats led by as much as 17 points in the game, and these fans, they don't seem too excited. Why not? Come on. But this will get you pumped up. Ben Matherin will block the slam dunk attempt by Jules Bernard. Yeah. And then the stare down. Arizona led by double digits at the half. And into the second we go. Dale and Terry for the trifecta. You betcha. UCLA though would battle back down the stretch and cut the lead to three here. Jaime Hawkins is keeping the Bruins close. But the icing on the cake goes to Kerr Kreza. Out to please ya. That three-pointer helped seal the deal for the Arizona Wildcats. That helped seal the victory with just under two minutes to play. Creasa would lead all scores with 16 points and five assists. And seventh-ranked Arizona avenged its loss from last week with a 76-66 victory. Not only that, coming into the game, Coach Sean Miller's Arizona Wildcats were on a six-game losing streak against UCLA. That streak is over with now. The Wildcats are also in first place in the Pac-12. And Coach Tommy Lloyd has Arizona at 18 and two. Thought you knew. Um, obviously you guys know I have a ton of respect for UCLA's program, their players, and, and, and their coach, and their coaching staff. So uh, it, it was really cool to get them back here today. That's the standard of what Mikhail can be every day. And, and we gotta get it to a point where it's not about the opponent, it's about Arizona basketball, you know, and, 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 and making it a community thing, a community, a community event. So, um, you know, that, that, that's all I ask for, and I'm going to give this community and this university everything I got, and I think you guys are seeing these players will do the same. What a victory. Bear down. Arizona will host 19th ranked USC on Saturday. Now let's check in with Adia Barnes as she talks about the women's basketball team hoping to avenge the loss to Oregon in another game at McHale Center on Friday. And then the loose ball, the inability. You know, it was a game that we felt like we didn't handle down the stretch and a game that Oregon played really well and they, they beat us. Um, but you know, at home it's a lot easier. There's, we're going to have a lot of fans. Uh, you know, that's your sixth man. You have just more momentum at home and confidence. Um, so I, I don't think it's a game where there's super high emotions. I think it's just a game that we know we need to win. Certainly so. Tip-off is set for 8 p.m. at McHale Center. Still plenty of tickets available. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala for News for Tucson Sports. We'll be right back.